What if one day you woke up, and everything you thought you knew about the world was a lie? Imagine it. In a quiet, quaint town tucked away in the heartland of America, a peculiar mist descended on an otherwise ordinary evening. A mist, not like the ones you're used to seeing on early mornings or late evenings. This mist was different. It was thick. It was palpable. It seemed to have a life of its own as it enveloped everything in its path, leaving nothing untouched. As it rolled in, an eerie silence fell over the town, only to be broken by the soft whisperings of the wind and the distant hoot of an owl. But soon, this tranquility was shattered. The town's denizens, caught in the mist, began to experience something strange, something inexplicable. They saw visions, hallucinations that blurred the line between reality and fantasy. The world they knew, the world they understood, was shifting before their eyes. Confusion bloomed into chaos as the townsfolk grappled with the unsettling phenomena. Their once peaceful streets became a stage for an unfolding drama of the bizarre. The quaint little town was no longer a haven of simplicity, but a labyrinth of mystery and fear. Yet, amidst this pandemonium something even more sinister was taking shape. Whispers began to spread, whispers of a clandestine experiment, a government project known as MK Ultra. Could it be that this mist was the result of a secret experiment gone awry, an experiment aimed at controlling the human mind? As the town descended into chaos, a handful of survivors began to band together, little knowing what they were about to uncover. Unbeknownst to them, they were about to embark on a journey that would challenge their understanding of the world and thrust them into a struggle for their very sanity. This was just the beginning. But as the saying goes, the night is darkest just before the dawn. In the midst of chaos, truth often reveals itself in the most unexpected ways. As the veil of the strange mist lifted, the survivors found themselves in a world that was familiar, yet eerily different. It was as if reality itself had been turned on its head, replaced by a surreal landscape of shifting perceptions and distorted truths. The group, a motley crew of everyday individuals, found themselves grappling with an unthinkable revelation. They had stumbled upon a clandestine operation, a government experiment designed to control the human mind. The mist, it seemed, was not a natural phenomenon but a product of this horrific endeavor. Each of them reacted differently to this realization. Some were filled with disbelief, unable to accept that their government could perpetrate such an atrocity. Others felt a surge of anger, a burning indignation at the violation of their rights, their freedoms, their very minds. Yet, in the face of this unimaginable scenario, they found a shared determination, a resolve to fight back, to expose the truth, to end this experiment. They knew they were outmatched, facing a force far greater than themselves, but they also knew that they were the only ones who could stop it. Navigating this twisted world became a test of their sanity. They encountered strange, frightening visions, projections of their deepest fears and darkest secrets. It was as if the mist was not just invading their town, but their minds, their souls. Yet, they pressed on, driven by a singular purpose. The survivors, ordinary people thrust into extraordinary circumstances, became unlikely heroes. They were the embodiment of the human spirit, resilient and tenacious, refusing to be controlled or manipulated. Each step closer to the truth came with its own set of challenges. But with each challenge they overcame, they grew stronger, more united. They understood that the battle was not just for their minds, but for their humanity. Faced with an unthinkable reality, they knew they had one mission, to stop this atrocity. The survivors were ready to fight, ready to reclaim their town, their minds and their freedom. The truth, as they say, had set them free. Now, it was time to do the same for the rest of humanity. When reality itself is the enemy, how do you fight back? Imagine a world where your mind is no longer your own, where the very essence of what you perceive is manipulated, distorted and turned against you. This was the reality for our survivors in a small, unsuspecting town, where a sinister mist had brought chaos, confusion and a battle for sanity. Their world had become a twisted labyrinth of hallucinations and strange, nightmarish creatures. These were not merely illusions, they were manifestations of their deepest fears, their hidden insecurities and their darkest secrets. They were trapped in their own minds, each step a struggle against the onslaught of their own distorted reality. Yet even in this pandemonium they found strength, they found resilience, they found the will to battle the terrors that lurked in their minds. For every hallucination they dispelled, for every creature they faced, they took back a piece of their reality, a piece of their sanity. They had to constantly remind themselves of what was real and what was an illusion. 
they clung to their memories, their shared experiences, their love for one another. It was these bonds, these connections that anchored them in the swirling storm of madness. Each shared glance, each comforting word, each helping hand was a beacon of hope, a testament to their humanity amidst the chaos. They learned quickly that they could not face these horrors alone. They needed each other, their collective strength, their shared resolve. Together, they stood against the storm, their unity a bulwark against the creeping insanity. In this battle, their minds were their weapons, their sanity their shield. They fought not with swords or guns but with courage, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. They faced their fears, they confronted their demons, and they emerged stronger, more united, more human. In a world where sanity was a luxury, they held on to their will to survive. For in the midst of madness, they found not only their sanity, but also their humanity. And in their humanity they found the strength to fight back, to reclaim their reality, to win the battle for sanity. In the darkest hour, heroes emerge from the most unlikely places. Amidst the chaos, our band of survivors found themselves standing against the colossal might of a government that had lost its way. The small town folks, who had once lived quiet, unassuming lives, were now the last beacon of hope for a nation teetering on the edge of subjugation. As they stared down the monolithic mind control device, they knew their mission was a perilous one. This was not a battle of brawn, but a test of their will, their sanity, and their unyielding spirit. Their enemy was not merely a machine but the very essence of fear, a phantom that sought to shroud their minds in perpetual darkness. In the face of such a formidable adversary the survivors displayed an incredible fortitude. They had seen the world they knew crumble, watched their friends succumb to the twisted machinations of the mist, and had their own minds pushed to the brink. Yet, they stood steadfast, united by a shared determination to reclaim their freedom. With each step they took towards the device, they carried the weight of their sacrifices. The loss of loved ones, the erosion of their sanity, the shattering of their peaceful existence, these were the costs of their struggle. But they did not falter, instead, they transformed their pain into strength, their fear into resolve. The showdown was fierce, a battle not just for their town, but for the very essence of humanity. They wrestled with the machine, their actions a testament to their resilience. And when the device finally fell, silenced forever, it was not just a victory over a rogue government experiment. It was a triumph of the human spirit over manipulation, a declaration that even in the face of overwhelming odds, they would not be controlled. In their darkest hour they found their strength and put an end to the nightmare. Their courage had saved not just their town, but potentially an entire nation. And though the cost was high, they proved that when the human spirit is tested, it does not break but emerges stronger and more resilient than ever before. When the dust settles, what remains? The air is thick with the aftermath of the chaos that unfolded in a seemingly ordinary small town. The survivors, forever etched by their experiences, are attempting to rebuild their lives. As they pick up the pieces, they bear the weight of an unspoken truth. The world they once knew has been irrevocably altered, the veil of their normal lives torn away to reveal the grim reality hidden beneath. Each day, they confront the psychological impacts of their experiences, the haunting memories of strange creatures, and the constant battle for sanity. The government's grand experiment with the human mind had turned their lives into a living nightmare, but, in their darkest hour, they discovered a resilience within themselves that they never knew existed. They faced their deepest fears, fought against the odds, and emerged victorious. But victory came at a price. The scars of their ordeal serve as a constant reminder of the horrors they faced and the truths they uncovered. Lingering doubts about the government persist. Can they trust the very institution that sought to control their minds? What other secrets could it be hiding? These questions gnaw at them, casting a shadow over their attempts to return to normalcy. The future, once a source of hope, is now shrouded in uncertainty. As they navigate this new reality, they are acutely aware of the dangers of unchecked scientific progress. The government's attempts to control the human mind had nearly cost them their lives. What other horrors could be lurking just beneath the surface? In the wake of the chaos they continue to grapple with these questions. They are survivors, forever bound by their shared experience, but they are also guardians, the only ones who know the truth about the government's dark experiments. In the aftermath of the chaos they were left with questions, 
What other secrets could be lurking, and what could be the cost of those secrets? They stand as the last line of defense, ready to fight for their sanity, their freedom, and the future of humanity.